Oh, I want to test something. I've been meaning to test this. Let me check my ballista. Ballista javelins. Okay, how much can I hit with this? A 70? Hmm. You know, the ballista might be a better weapon switch than the twisted bow for forecast. I mean, it doesn't really matter so much. It's just like if I see PB or PR potential, you know? Alright, just hit 400 KC at the forecast boss. Yeah, not bad, not bad, you know? From scuff to salvaged, I guess. Oh, and Elite Clue Scroll. Hmm. Alright, here goes nothing. Let's check out this uh, Elite Clue here. <gasps> A Master Clue! Wow. <laughs> hey, nice. We got the uh, Master Clues coming in now. From the Elite Clues, finally. That's awesome. Bruh, a dragon impling as I finish my agility grind. This one is ripe for the picking. A DDS? Ah, oh well. Damn, bro. Forecast gave me so many death runes. Wow. Holy shit. I haven't had over 10,000 death runes in a while. <laughs> Lots of chaos runes, too, actually. Yeah, this is definitely the new Zora, man. Oh, man. I have been thinking about this for quite a while now, but. I finished the Faldor Elite Diaries quite a while ago, and one of the rewards is the ability for your tree patch in Faldor to never get deceased. Yes, I do have 99 farming, so what does that have to do with you know me at all? Well, the thing is, is that after 99 farming, you get a lot of seeds still. So you know, from all the PVM that I still do, I just get a lot of seeds. So I've saved up. Look at this, 63 magic tree seeds. 49 U seeds, 34 maple seeds, and 238 willows. So it's just sitting there, and and I've been thinking, why not just spend a minute to plant three of these tree seeds a day? It's something nice I can uh, do out of my day. It takes no time, and you get a lot of farm XP. So without any risk. So I'm gonna start doing that for sure. It's been a while since I've been to Zora, but I am in quite a situation here. So Forecast has. Burned through so much of my skills, only got 5,000 left, so it's not gonna last much longer. And uh, I guess maybe my goal would be just to stock up to 50,000. Alright, maybe that'll kill it. I lied. Oh, I need to eat up though. Alright, it's fine. Whatever. Okay, tough raid. Oh, a drop! I was rewarded. Nice. What we do know is that I didn't get the pet, so. Alright, here we go, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, yo, another dragon sword. I thought I wasn't getting enough of them. But yeah, that's that's it. Here we go, the third dragon sword. Let's go. Best item in the game, guys. <laughs> yo, man, that was a beast. Let's go, third dragon sword. Alright, just to confirm, here it is. Honestly, the dragon sword looks like a freaking small dagger. It's like a, you know, a slightly bigger dagger. Oh, did I get a new PB? Oh, yo, guys, I got a new personal best. Wow, I wasn't even paying attention, dude. 48 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. Very nice, Ohm head. Nope. Didn't get anything, but let's see what, what we got. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll. Yes. Okay, that's good. All right, Master Clue. First of the day. Here we go. Oh, man. Okay, we got ourselves one half a nut sack. Damn, that's a huge hit. What was that? 88. I think that's probably my max right now. Solo, so. Damn. I think max was 87, but with Ava's Assembler, I got an extra max hit. 552. Oh, 23 XP. Come on. Alright, this has got to give me that level, right? Yes. 89, Jody, guys. Now I can use Hard Revenant Cave Shortcut. Okay. If I ever go there, I guess I'll take advantage of that. So... Uh, last few days of winter break and I thought, yo, I, I really have been slacking on the uh, Jody. I was thinking like, I would do it, you know, every few days at night and yeah, I haven't really done it much. Except for the past few days I have. So I'll show you my stamina stack because it's really uh, working out really nice. But yeah, man, one more to go to 90 and I'll never have to boost for it again. Oh my god, at 89 a Jody with Preserve. Each bite of the summer pie will last me seven and a half minutes. 
All right, just used up all the uh, extra marks that I had, and holy shit, it's been an insane amount of time since I've stocked up on this many stamina, guys. 433 staminas, that's enough for over 300 raids. Um, and maybe some other things that I might use the staminas for, not sure really, but yeah, it's been a long time. I think the last time since I stocked up on this many was when I did like Sire, or like Sarah Domain Boss, which was over a year ago probably. So I am slowly putting all these seeds that I want to use for Father Patch into seedlings, and I was thinking, oh, is there a way to like water these without having to use a watering can because it's kind of a lot of work and uh yeah humidify actually does this for you which is really good one spell and i'll water the whole inventory so that's amazing totally forgot that you can actually do that but yeah definitely do this i guess if you have access to it because you know just save you a bit of time and you know pain having to click constantly trying to water everything <laughs> sometimes t-bowl noodles so you're like okay Oh, what? A Serpentine Fissage! Oh, man. Yo, I already got my uh, 50k skills then. Because I was at 30k, you know, I did two days. A few hours was alright. And, uh, yeah, Serpentine Fissage, that's 20k skills. Give me that, so I'm already at 50k now. That's awesome. First drop in a, in a little while. I'll take that. Come on, Vench. Alright, it's a kill. That was pretty fast. Alright, last sword kill in quite a while because I've actually completed the uh, 50k skill goal and then some more. Alright, so I did get that uh, Fissage. Oh, yes. So I, I ended up doing a little more, you know. The Fissage was unexpected, so that's great. So I'm at 60k skills, which is even better, so... So towards the end of the last episode, I introduced to you guys an additional new long-term goal that I want to work on, which is to get 1,000 boss KC of pretty much almost every boss. Now, I will be going back to do some Slayer uh, every once in a while because Slayer will allow me to do most of these bosses on task anyways. I'll give you an example, right? Forkath is a blue dragon task. Obviously, Sire is uh, absolute demons like Cerberus, Hellhounds, right? And uh, there's so many other bosses that basically applies through Slayer as well, like King Black Dragon. So that would be probably the nicest way to go about uh, collecting 1000 KC for most of these bosses. And we'll be uh, mixing it up with, you know, my race grind and the occasional corp grind and all of that stuff. You know, on top of the occasional skilling. So this is definitely going to be in the long run, the next few months I would say. So I am about to head off to do a little bit of Slayer and I already got 14 Black Dragons. So that's, you know, 14 King Black Dragons I can do right now. So this should be really interesting because I have a completely new setup. You know, I have a Twisted Bow. And um, yeah, from what I've seen, Twisted Bow just decimates this boss. So I will go ahead and try it out for the first time. I'm pretty excited, not gonna lie. So this is the current strategy I'm just doing. It's pretty straightforward. Every time I hit with the T-Bow, I just uh, go under the boss because the KBD actually attacks a little quicker than your T-Bow. So you can just do one uh, T-Bow hit for every attack if you just duck under and you, you know, come back right out. And yeah, it's really easy. I mean, you do take a bit of damage, but you kill this boss really, really fast anyway. So you will use a bit of food if you do it this way, but yeah, it works out really well. I s noticed that there's another method though that you can do, and it's, it's a bit more uh, complicated. The other method is involving using an anti-fire shield switch. So I'm testing the uh, regular anti-fire and the super anti-fire and it doesn't seem to be any different in terms of you know how much damage you take from King Black Dragon's magic fire breaths. So I am you know using uh, super anti-fire right now and yeah as you can see I still take like 14s and 10s and stuff from its magic attack. KBD is a bit more special of a dragon like it's a boss so it makes more sense that you shouldn't be able to negate all the damage just using a potion. Alright, just finished this 14 uh, KBD in one trip. Uh, of course, this was a bit rough because I didn't know what type of inventory setup I wanted to use, but yeah, I still managed to pull off the uh, 14 kills pretty easily uh, with food to spare. So uh, I would say I would probably keep using the Twisted Bow here for sure. I mean, the kills are just so fast. 
Oh, what? Nice. I got a hard clue from the ancient, uh, well, actually, just the fossil island wyverns. Didn't think it was worth skipping these guys because you only get like 20 or something. Uh, let's see. 159 Kel fight. Actually, I thought that perhaps I, I might reach a thousand, you know, when I was grinding for 99 herb lore, but yeah, Kelfite Queen's at 802. So I would actually need to take about two tasks to uh, finish up Kelfite Queen for 1k, so nice. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, the poison killed it though. Yeah, boy. Magic seeds, dude. Give me that 350k drop. Can you believe it? A non-unique drop from a boss that's worth 350k. <laughs> I maxed on an Iron Man. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll. Yes. Okay. That is dope. Alright, so that means I am gonna go and do a Master Clue then. I have two Master Clues ready, basically. So, Alright, here we go. 101, right? Wow. That is a lot of items, guys. Except this, you know... I'm sorry boys, I know y'all hate seeing me drop that, but eh, not bad, you know, plenty of nutsacks uh, with some good resources, you know? Piece of shit. Oh boy, that really sucks. That fucking sucks. Fat leave? Nah, 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 I ain't leaving, bro. We don't leave. This is a challenge, baby. Ah, god damn it. Oh my god, they're already so low. But I have to kill it super quick. Please, let's go, T-Bow. Let's go, T-Bow! Fuck, I'm just missing, dude. Ball pipe, heal me, please. Damn it. I need to do it quick or else it's not gonna work, so... We can do this. Yes, got it. Peace! See you later. Alright, we did it. That's cool. Uh, I think this is Elite Clue from Kelfight Queen, huh? Yeah. Elite Clue from Kelfight Queen? Here we go. Ah, wow. What, one second. What we got here? It's okay then. Oh, what? Elite Clue Scroll. Okay. Alright, let's check this out from uh, the raids here. Oh my god, a Master Clue. Alright, alright, not bad, not bad. I used to never get them from Elite Clues, but now I'm actually getting them, so that's great! So it's time to update the uh, progress log, a bit of updates for all three of the tabs. So in the PVM section, I got myself my third Dragon Sword, so that puts us at three Dragon Swords, 73 total items. And also, I haven't really uh, shown the skilling stuff much, but I actually gained three levels uh, these past month. So I got 89 agility now. Also on the mining side, we got 97. And of course on runecrafting, I actually got to 85. So that puts the total level to 2,206, pretty cool. And on the 1K boss KC goal, I ended up getting to 900 Calfight Queen kills. So yeah, 100 more to go about, and I'll have another thousand. Hopefully we'll get that soon depending on what Slayer task I get. So this is where I'm going to be uh, wrapping up today's video here. And I'm back in school now, winter vacation's over. We had a great winter break, you know, got a lot of stuff done. Uh, at least for RuneScape as well, but yeah, back at school, it should be okay. This uh, semester schedule is actually pretty good. So I should be able to continue making videos, probably, you know, still the one video every five to six days just to update you guys though on some IRL. Anyways, if you want to stay up to date, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way you know exactly when the next video will come out. And otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching as usual. And I'll see you guys soon with another video next week, hopefully. Take care.